In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Slide Pop from Stupid Raisins. Slide Pop is a unique set of effects and transitions that emulate the vintage Viewmaster toy. Slide Pop was designed for use in Final Cut Pro 10. Slide Pop features a collection of effects and transitions. You can see everything by going to the Themes browser under Slide Pop. I'll drag Vertical Curve Modified onto my first clip. There are two versions of each effect and transition. They start the same, but end differently. You'll notice in this effect marked Modified, the ending animation looks exactly like the incoming animation. In the Vertical Curve Original effect, the outgoing animation features a mask that makes it look exactly like the original Viewmaster. An easy visual cue is that the modified effects feature a white arrow in the effect icon, and the original feature a red arrow. Plus, each icon and title shows you which direction the animation will go. In the effect parameters, you can see that we have checkboxes for the animation build in and out. We can change the curve direction from right to left. I can tweak the slide height and width. I can adjust the roundness of the corners from completely square to pretty much an oval, but I like roughly the default roundness. Next, we can adjust the feathering of the mask. Shake allows you to add some shaky animation to the frame. And slide fuzziness allows you to add some grunge to the picture for added vintage realism. I like a happy medium on both. The color presets menu gives us some excellent vintage color effects. Sunburn, Frostbite, Lighten Up, Avocado, Brown Coat, Pink Pony, Dark TV, Color Kill, and Curiosity. I like them all, but Sunburn fits this footage best. The Blur slider will give your footage a 3D pop. I like this roughly at the default. I'll leave the vignette turned on. The last checkbox is Freeze Frame, which, of course, is exactly what you'd see in a Viewmaster frame. I'll keep the motion in my video by unchecking this box. This looks great. Let's use a Freeze Frame on my next clip. I'll select a good frame in the middle of the jump and set that as the clip's in point on the timeline. I'll use the same Vertical Curve Modified effect on it by copying the first clip and then using the Paste Effects command, Option Command V, on the next one. I'll just turn on Freeze Frame in this effect. Because it's a freeze frame, I can adjust the length of the clip to whatever I'd like on the timeline. The transitions have similar parameters to the effects, just a different method for the same cool effect. Lastly, I'll composite these clips on a white, vignetted background to finish. Slide Pop is a very cool vintage effect that will give you some great looks for your footage. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.